Well, folks, today we are on a somewhat of a rescue mission to the great little island off the coast of Maine and New Brunswick called Campobello. So stay tuned. So basically what we're doing is uh, we sold the black Kia Sorento this week and it went to Campobello Island. If you're not familiar with Campobello Island, it is a small island that you have to pass through the U.S. to get to it because it's kind of, well, it's an island. And the only way to get to it by sea is generally in the summertime when the ferries are running, but there is no full-time ferry. It's a big topic of discussion these days. But nevertheless, we have to go across the border at Calais, Maine, drive through Maine for about an hour to a place called Lubeck, Maine, which there's a bridge and a border crossing that takes you over to the island. So the customer called me this morning saying that at first the battery light was flashing on the vehicle and called later to say that the vehicle had quit. So automatically we assumed that the alternator had stopped charging, the vehicle was running on battery alone and now has run out of battery. So in order to get the vehicle back here, crossing through two border crossings and an hour drive, I had to rob the battery out of bubbles. We're going to rob the battery out of this Kia Rondo and I only had one remanufactured battery that would fit the vehicle here at the shop. So we're going to take three batteries with us because if it is an alternator issue, it won't charge the battery while it's driving. And we're hoping that three batteries is enough to get us from Campobello back to the shop. The other option that it could be is it could have broken the serpentine belt, which in turn would keep the alternator from charging as well. So we're going to grab a belt at CarQuest and take it down and hopefully maybe be able to just swap a belt on it. If it happens to be the tensioner, well, then we're into another issue. Either way, we've got to get this vehicle back to the shop so that we can fix it. It is chilly out today. As it sits right now, it's 10 degrees here in St. Stephen. It's a little bit warmer in Camp Bell at 14, and we're hoping for no wind because it is stupid cold, and we're going to be working with some metal tools and bare fingers. I'm going to have to find myself some gloves. So I'm going to swing by the house and pick up Junior, and we will be heading on route to Camp Bell. Uh, I'm going to fuel up the truck, the shop truck, before we go down and uh, make sure we get enough gas to get down there and back as it only sits at about a quarter of a tank. So, you guys are going to come along for the ride. So guys, did you actually think that we were going to be able to drive through Callus without getting some gut rot from Mickey D's? Not going to happen. So as we approach Campobello, I've got Junior with me today. Hello. And uh, we're going to brave the cold. It's only minus eight. She's going to be chilly. I hope there's not a whole lot of wind. I don't see too many trees moving as we're driving by, but we're going to be working on this thing on the side of the road. And we just got to find it. I know uh, I know where it is. Uh, we just got to get there. So we're about to cross over into uh, Camp Bello again, which is still part of New Brunswick and part of Canada. But like I mentioned before, we had to travel about an hour through the U.S. to get there. So I'm going to put a map up on the screen right now so you can see where we are and where we had to go to get there. Well, here she sits, broken-hearted. So we're gonna pop the hood and see what uh, see what's going on. Now the belt's still on it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test and see if the battery's got any charge. My guess is. So the battery is showing weak. And that is a new battery. It's got CarQuest on it. I know that we've... Uh, we put that battery in there. I'm pretty sure we put that in there when we bought it. So it's not likely a battery issue. So we're gonna put the booster pack on it and see if we can get it boosted. Let's hope the keys are in the vehicle. 
no key. So we're going to reach out to the customer and see if uh, see how far away they are and see if we can get some keys. All right, so we've got the key. Now we're going to see if it'll take a boost. How long it's gonna stay running? What was the battery light on? I don't know if it's on right now. <laughs> it does not like not having that, that, that booster pack on there. We know that that battery, at least for the time being, is doing us no good, so we're gonna swap it out and put one of the good batteries in it and see if we can test that one. So what we're gonna do is put another battery in it, that way we can test the alternator, see if the alternator's charging. If the alternator's not charging, then we'll drive as far as we can on the new battery. <coughs> and uh, when that battery dies, we'll put another one in it. And then when that battery dies, we'll put another one in it. We've got three all together. Is that how we're gonna limp it back? That's how we're gonna limp it back. Quick change battery. I, I should be on NASCAR. Get us going. So now this will tell us if our alternator is charging. Well, that should be in the green, and it's not. It's way down the red. So we know our alternator's not charging. We've got to get this thing back to St. Stephen and uh, put another alternator in. So we're back on the road and I am driving the Kia and Junior is behind me in the shop truck. And uh, one thing I've noticed on this is that if I'm just idling down the road, the battery light comes on and lets me know that likely the alternator's not charging. But if I step on it and give her the beans, the battery light goes out and everything seems normal. So what I've done is I've put the transmission in third gear so that it's revving a little bit higher than it normally would if it was just cruising down the road and the alternator light or the battery light hasn't come on since. So we're going to test this theory on the way home make sure that uh, you know we've got lots of charge because I do think the alternator is charging at higher RPMs so the voltage regulator or something is causing the problem and uh, hoping that we don't have to change batteries on the side of the road on the way home. So I'm not going to turn the camera back on again unless there's a problem and uh, likely if, if that's the case then we'll probably be on the side of the road changing that battery. But anyways, we'll give you an update as soon as we get back to uh, civilization. I really shouldn't say that because it's not a bad place. It's just a long ways out of the way. Well, we're so far so good, there's no issues, and I know I said that I wouldn't uh, jump in unless there was an issue, but the only real issue here is the snow-covered roads. We've got about, well, we're at 36.3 kilometers since we left Campobello, and I've got the transmission in fifth gear. Uh, we're doing about uh, 60 miles an hour, and uh, everything seems to be good. I'm not running the fan, the heater, on uh, very high and I'm not running the radio at all, no heated seats, nothing extra. And uh, hoping that, uh, you know, we can at least get halfway on this battery. But 
I'm thinking that since the alternator seems to be charging the battery under load, we might even make it the whole way home. So we'll see what happens. So we are about five miles from Callis and St. Stephen, and we got uh, about 83, we'll say 84 kilometers on this first battery that we put in when we were back at Camp Bello. And I think that my little test of running it in a gear lower than it should be is keeping the RPMs up there enough so that we can drive this thing and uh, help charge that battery with the alternator. Now, the roads certainly have gotten worse. And we've had to slow down a little bit, so now I am doing about, uh, about 45 in fourth gear, which is fine, it's not hurting anything, because it's still only rubbing at about uh, 25 to 2700 RPM. So, my guess is we're gonna make it home without having to change batteries. What do you guys think? Leave your guesses in the comment section below. We are, like I said, about five minutes away from reaching our destination and then we'll get it out to the shop and see how far away an alternator is for one of these things and hopefully they're not terribly expensive because obviously we're flipping the bill on this one. So we are back in Canada. We are just on the highway. The shop is less than a kilometer away. And I may have spoke too soon, and I may have just blown my shifting manually into the lower gear theory out of the water because she's hitching a little bit and all the lights on the dash just came on. So we're almost there. I'm hoping that we can make it into the driveway. ABS on this thing right now with all those lights on and uh, I just about slid by the driveway. So I just shut the vehicle off and I wanted to see how close to not being able to start this thing again we were. Take a look. I don't think we could have caught it any closer than that. Like, seriously, pull in the driveway and that's it. So now we've just got to unload all the batteries and all the tools and stuff that I took with me and uh, then we are done for the day. So there she sits, all getting covered in snow. I'm just thankful that we made it on one battery instead of having to use all three because I was quite honestly expecting to have to use all three batteries to get us home. Uh, I do believe that the uh, downshifting and using the uh, lower gear and keeping the RPMs up, I do believe that that helped but uh, you know pulling into the driveway here at the shop and everything dying right then, that's really quite amazing. So guys remember t-shirts and hoodies are still available at the first link in the description box below, I'd appreciate it if you head over there and check out some of the merchandise that I've got for sale. You might see something you like. All sizes are there, as well as there's quite a few different colors. Uh, I hope that you would support the channel. Also, Thursday nights, Car Guy and Six Fan subscriber hangout. So whether you guys have a channel or you're just watching, come on over and take a look and see what's going on. It happens Thursdays uh, at seven o'clock central time, 8 o'clock Eastern and 9 o'clock at Atlantic. So this week it's going to be on my channel and every other week will be on my channel. After that we swap back and forth. So Straight Six Fans YouTube page is in the second link in the description box below and I hope you take the time out to join us on our live feed. Guys, as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next upload. <laughs>